Okay, welcome back. We were on the Pisces. We were on the Pisces. So the people who were the Pisces are going to change. So if you were born on February 19 uh, to March 20th, okay, you are going to change and you're going to be Aquarians, okay? So from February 16 until March 11, you are an Aquarian now. So no more Pisces, but you are an Aquarian now, okay? So... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so funny because this is what I have, why I have wrote the book, uh, Reveal, um, Remove the Veil of Illusions, because we were all living in uh, illusions. We were given what they take, we think we could have dealt with, but not getting the true story of how it is really. Okay, so... You Pisces that have been thinking your entire life that you were born as a Pisces, you're actually an Aquarius. And the rest of the Pisces, because this is what is happening. You, who the Pisces from the 11th of March, you're no more a Pisces, but you are an you you stay the Pisces so I have to leave a lot of information in this video so here we are so the Pisces from March 11 until April 18 remain a Pisces okay so if you were born um, March 11 to April 18, you still remain a Pisces, okay? So, as I look at this, the Aquarians that we had lost, the 17 the Aquarians who were born on um, the February 17 and 18, 17, no, they're, they're, they're really fall out because, it, no, um, they are actually still Aquarians. So, those are the only ones that haven't been changed. So, this is going to be a really change of the guard, people. A lot of stuff are going to happen. So for you, Pisces, only the people who were born on March 11 um, um, are still um, Pisces. People who were born March 11 till March 20th, they are still Pisces, okay? So um, you don't have to worry. I love this. I will actually leave information I will leave a lot of information and I will try to get information on the video, okay? So as I go through it, you can um, see the information. So, okay, as we go forward, we are looking at the next person, which is the Aries, okay? The normal Aries, and let's find the Aries card. Let's find the Aries card because this is... Um, you all have to be aware, okay? I will leave the information because I'm going to work on it and leave the information. The Aries, okay? You're Aries, so you are um, a fire sign. You are like um, the, 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 the energy of uh, that goat, okay? The goat with the on, okay? The Aries. And that's why the Aries and the and the Capricorns, that's why they get along because um, they are actually, they carry actually, the Aries is, uh, you know, that goat with the horn and uh, the Capricorn has a, a goat head and a fish body. And this is a ram. This is really a ram, the Aries, and yet still the Capricorn. So that's why the Aries uh, and the Capricorns can get along, but not not all of them, okay? Not all of them. Okay, this is the Aries, and this is uh, the symbol of the Aries, which is, this is really like a mountain goat, and the Capricorns are actually a mountain goat with a fish tail. So this is the Aries, and what happened? This is really a mountain goat. This is a killer goat, okay? The Capricorns are not that of a killer. All right, let's see the changing of the guards for the Aries. What's happening with you, Aries? Show me, show me, show me. So the Aries... 
are from the 21st of March until the 19th of April. Now, what happened in with the 13th sign? The Aries are going to be from the 18th. Um, so, um, what is going to happen is that the Aries is going to be from the 18th of April until the 13th of May. So you're not really an Aries. You are Hmm. Wow. This is really the changing of the cards. It's powerful. It's the weirdest thing. But I'm I'm wondering who whosoever did this 13th sign the recognition because the Aries there is nothing after March there are Pisces which you know this is kind of strange because the Aries become Pisces so it's like you have gone back um, a sign behind so the Aries are actually now the Pisces. So um yeah, this is this is extremely serious. So all who were born on the sign of Aries is actually now Pisces. So if you were born under the sign of this, you're becoming a Pisces. So, okay, this is going to be a very, very hard situation for a lot of people because people are going to start to find it, to lose their way because this is a fire sign and a water sign. And if you change from a fire sign going back to a water sign, there is a lot of transformation for one person. So I can understand why a lot of people are going crazy now. A lot of people are losing their ways and a lot of people are not understanding anything because they're actually, um, especially people who are vegetarians and they start to have this shift in themselves and they're not understanding that this is something that is affecting a lot of people. And, you know, I think the medicine world should look at things and do not um, look at people as being crazy but because there's a shift of consciousness is going on because this is definitely a shift of consciousness because you're going from a fire sign element that you have always been your entire life and you're moving back to a water sign element so this is a totally shift that is um, beyond the wisest um, and, and, and this is it this is magic I consider this to be universal magic because we are being re regrouted and rewired and just like our DNA, it's just like the people who were born with seven DNA strands and all of a sudden the 12, the other um, five DNA strands are being awakened because uh, um, we are more connecting in a conscious um, way. So this is powerful. This is this is wonderful. And now I understand why um, this was in my blueprint to do. And I want to say thank to someone special out there because I'm sure he'll be listening to this reading. Thank you, Frank, for really getting me to, 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 to do this, which I told you I was researching it. I had to have my own thing. Finally, I'm doing it. And this is going to be a game shifter as we have already discussed. This is going to be a huge game shifter because if you have always vibrated at a, as the energy vibration of a fire person and now you are moving to the energy vibration, 
of a water person this is a really a total game shifter so I will make sure I put the information on there the bottom okay we're moving on um, from the Pisces to we're moving on for the Pisces and we're we're looking at where we are now okay so we're going to um, the Aries so no Pisces Aries we, we were at the Aries so we're going to look at the Tauruses who have these earth energy people become now so the Tauruses the Tauruses have become the Aries so it's always going a sign behind so you're no longer a hurt sign for the people who were born on April 20th to May 20th what is happening for you is that um, there is April 20th okay so April 20th you are you are still a Taurus um, no your Aries so what is happening is that you are a Aries oh my god so the Taurus is that thought they were born Taurus is an earth energy vibration you are moving you're going back and you're becoming a Aries and um, the people who were born um, the people who were born on um, the the on the 13th uh, of May you are Aries but the rest on the 14th or 13th of May you are you remain a Taurus so this is good so if you were born on May um, 13 till June 21st you're a Taurus so um, um, so the people who thought they were Gemini's are no more Gemini's but they're Taurus because you're going back a sign behind so okay um yeah so the Tauruses are um or the Tauruses are the Aries <laughs> oh my god this is going to be totally a game ship the Tauruses has become the Aries okay the Tauruses have become the Aries so be aware of this you Tauruses you are and uh, not all of you because if you were born from April 20th uh, from April if you were born on May 13 you are um, at you're still a Taurus um, May 20th you're still uh, May 13th you're still a Taurus okay so people who were born from May um, 13 uh, to May 20th you're still a Taurus okay so you all that energy vibration which is, is, is extremely good okay we're moving from Taurus to Gemini okay here we are the Gemini's what's happening for you Gemini's what's happening the Gemini's are always May 21st until June 21st May 21st until June 21st and um, May 21st until June 21st okay what is happening is that the people who were born on the um, the 21st of May has now become a Taurus so you are a Taurus so the people who were born on May 21st you have now become a Taurus and the people who were born on May 21st you have now become a Taurus and um, um, May 21st yeah it's become a Taurus so this is really a shift of the guard for you guys because uh, um, people who were born on May 
21st has become a positive positive Taurus so this is extremely good so remember um, Gemini's you're no longer the ones who were born from the 21st of May you have now become a Taurus okay that is the whole balance sign is that you you guys are really becoming the Taurus so this is good so for you Gemini's there it's perfect because uh, the Gemini's and on June 21st uh, and it goes over so you're really from the 21st uh, uh, you Gemini's um, who who you are really Tauruses you just switch right over so you, you are Tauruses Wow okay now we're going forward because we have the Gemini's and then we have the cancers okay the old paragon to had the cancers that were born June 21st to July 21st so as we look at here you are um, Gemini's you have become Gemini's and this is well a balanced one there is nothing missing out here so um, you cancers are no longer um, vibrating with the energy of uh, um, the water sign but you have become an hair sign so this is a mental shift for a lot of people and I think this is why people because you're a water sign and you're becoming an air sign and this is why a lot of people are going cuckoo because they're feeling this shift and people are not understanding why the shift is happening so you cancers have now become um, the Gemini's you can just have now become the Gemini so you can just have now become the Gemini's okay so this is a real this is a real shift that is going on this is this is an unbelievable shift that you need to um, mentally work through because I had the same thing okay let's look at the the Leos and I'll leave the information about who and who has changed sign and who has stayed the same okay as we look at the Leo the Leo is always the lion and their birthdays is always from July 23rd until August 22nd so now you have become um, okay the change of the guard is that the people who were born on there's some cancers who were born on the 20th of July you are now become a Leo oh my god this is a game shifters I love this I love this this is just so wonderful so what is going to happen now is that there is such there is going to be such a game shifter because you are a water sign and you're becoming this uh, you're becoming and that's why a lot of people are getting very aggressive because um, they are changing um, from out of their old sign and taking on the energy vibration of this new because you're a cancer and then you're going to become a lion uh, um, um, you're, you're a Leo you're a cancer that is be going to become and you're a Leo that is going to become a cancer which is vice versa which is just changing of the guard so you know for the Leo some of you are going to become cancer so you're no longer vibrating under the energy vibration of a Leo but you're vibrating under the energy vibration of a cancer so you're going from out of fire to a water sign so wow this is this this is a game shift and this is you know this part is really really a game shift so it's gonna be hard for some of you people mine was um, much easier I could really digest it because I could really see the traits of myself being in that and you guys are going back ways and I'm going forward so um, you know it's going to be hard and um, I have to do something for the people who are going to have a, a real hard sense of really understanding where you are okay we are going to Leo we have done Leo and now we're going to the Virgos which is another earth sign which the change shift for you Virgos because a lot of people or okay the Virgo you're a Virgo and the energy of the Virgo what does the energy of the Virgo the Virgos are always August 23rd 
until September 22nd, August 23rd until September 22nd. So the Virgos are now becoming the Leos. The Virgos are now becoming the Leos until the 16th. So the people, the Virgos, um, you are now becoming the Leos. The Virgos who were born after the 16th of September will stay Virgos. If you were born after the 16th of September, you will stay Virgos. If you were... Yeah. So, you know, before... Um, before... Um, after the 10th of August, which is you people in August that was born in August, you have become the Leo. You have become the Leo. So it's you're you're going you're you're going reverse. You're reversing. You're you're reversing. You're reversing. You're just reversing. You are reversing. Okay. So there the Virgos who we have after the Virgos the Libra and the Libra is going to be a game changer for you guys as a, as a balancing of the the scale okay as I said all the information I will place all the information up there um, it is the balancing of the scale for you Librans your birthday is always September 23rd until October 22nd for you Librans September um, 23rd until October um, 20 seconds. So as we look for September 23rd, you will be a Virgo. So um, you Librans are Virgo. So if you were born um, September 23rd until August, so you are now a Virgo. So from the 16th of September until October 30th, you are a Virgo. Oh my God, this is changing the guards. So you Librans are no longer a hair sign, but you're an earth sign. You're being grounded. So it's as if um, you came in with two different uh, energy. And this is why I'm saying to a lot of people, and please people listen, this, if you will survive if you will survive this time perk, which you survive being, you you survive by um, this energy change because it's just an energetic change. It's just like we have the conscious change, the consciousness of who we are, and this a whole conscious change that has been happening. If you survive it until twenty thirty two, you are going to be um, taken down in the books of records to be the people who make the transition on hurt. So, you know, whatsoever is happening, you need to try and fight this off and try and be aware that you need, you as a beam need to be here to protect the species of this hurt. So you need to understand this, okay? We're moving on. We have left the Libran, the, the air sign, who went back to be the heart sign. So um, we're looking at Scorpio. What the Scorpio, Libra, and then Scorpion. The Scorpion is really the Scorpion. Let's see where you guys have gone to. So the Scorpions were always October 23rd until November 21st. So um, people who are born on October 21st, First is become October 21st till October 30th. Um, you have become the Virgos. So you Librans, uh, you Scorpions have become Virgo. Yes, the Scorpions, who was October 23rd, has become Virgos. Oh my God, this is really a shift. You went back to be Virgos October Oh my gosh. So Virgos are from September 16 until October 20, 30th. So you Scorpions are no longer Scorpions, but you're an earth sign, which because you're both earth and water, you can walk on earth and water. Oh my gosh, this is such a game change for you guys. This is a powerful game change. So you came in this life to work with the earth energy and also the water energy. And 
because if you were born on October 23rd, you fall as a Virgo, October 23rd until the 30th of October, you are now a Virgo. If you were born after the 30th of October, you have become a Libra. <laughs> So you scorpion, oh my gosh. So the, the, the changes of the scorpion, the scorpions are becoming hair because they can actually crawl up the wall. So this is a powerful change for you scorpion. So some came in to become earth signs and some came in to become hair signs. So the changing of the guards is here. So this is just a powerful for you scorpion. So I really have to give more information. So remember if you're a scorpion and you were born on the 23rd of October, you're no longer a scorpion, but you have become an earth sign. And this I can understand because I have a girlfriend who was born on that date and she and I could get along very well she was never ever a scorpion she really had earth element traits so you know welcome you scorpion to the earth element you know this is wonderful this is passionate this is good and for the um the scorpions who were born on the 21st of November you are a Libran oh my god okay once you were born after October you have become a Libran so be aware of this so this is this is just extremely powerful okay so you have scorpions who are Virgo the scorpions share the the sense so if you were a scorpion you can have the tr you are going to change to either a Virgo or a Libra okay you're going to change and of course you're a scorpion you can always change um, to whatever you will okay we're going down the Sagittarius the Sagittarius which was uh, and the Sagittarius has taught me something okay the Sagittarians the Sagittarians has taught me something because the Sagittarians are the one who has the 13th sign the Sagittarius or the one who has the 13th sign the Sagittarius is from the 22nd of November with the energy of the 13th sign if you were born on the 29th of November until the 17th of December you are the 13th sign so you Sagittarians who were born on the 29th of November until the 17th of December you have become the special ones okay I say special ones because you are the healers you are going to come up with these uh, mysterious ways to heal people okay so you have the power within your hands uh, that you have and you are the healers so if you were born between November 29th and the um, December 17 you are the powerful healers normally Sagittarians are from the 22nd of November before the 22nd of November you are a Scorpio okay so um, the 23rd of November you become a Scorpio so if you were born on November um, because the change of the guard is November 22nd you are now a Scorpio so all the people who were born on November 22nd until the 28th um, of November, you have become now a Scorpio, okay? And for the people on November 29th until um, December 17th, you are now, and you have now become um, the 13th sign. So congratulations. You finally, I'm going to make your own special videos. And what I'm, I, I, I um, want to express to you new um, Ophelia because the, 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 you're not in this card so I really have to check out and see you're not in this card so if someone out there is watching this videos and you make zodiac sign please make um, the 13 cards because we need to start and uh, accept them because a lot of people in the zodiac world and in the astrological world know why you don't want to give them the power that they deserve but we can always give people the inf information 
whatever they do with it that is what that that is not our problem we give you the information so you know that this planet is a planet of free will whatever you do with it is what you are going to need to do okay so you need to understand that the people who were born from November 22nd you have now become the um, the Librans you are Librans and Scorpio you are Scorpio you're more Scorpions okay um, November yeah you're Scorpions Scorpions are from November 23rd until November 29 your Scorpions from um, the up you up up I each uterus the new 13 planets I don't know who gave them this name I mean we had Sagittarians why didn't we just give them like Pluto or so up if you just um, you are from November 29th until December 17 okay this is where I basically um, lost it. Um, so, uh, you know, so the people who were born on December 18, the people who were, who were born on December um, uh, 17, um, because there's so many borderline if you were born on December 17 until January 20th you are a Sagittarius now this is where it came in for myself because I realized that uh, that this year the year of 2000 so Sagittarius have become yeah um, so Sagittarius if you were born um, December 17 until January 20th you are a Sagittarius okay so the Capricorns become Sagittarius the Capricorns become Sagittarius okay the Capricorns become Sagittarius this is where it affected me and it didn't affected me I was like game change game change this is really really game change because what what has happened and what has happened with this situation the Capricorn situation is that um, I personally has the trait of Sagittarians because I am a caps person so I had the trait of the Sagittarian so it wasn't that bad for me because I realized who I was and I know who I was and as I said in a conversation when I was discussing this before I did this um, I knew that certain stuff with the Sagittarians so I realized that the changes were happening because um, since this year 2017 I've realized that my Sagittarians viewers have been um, vibrating with they were I mean there's so much I was attracting so many Sagittarians viewers and then I realized oh my gosh that is true because I am a cop so I have the energy of the Sagittarius and as the Capricorn so um. The, the Sagittarians and the Capricorn viewers was being so um, it, they were so close they were extremely close the the Sagittarius and the Capricorn so this was such a positive experience for me because then I realized and I could say yes we are being changed the tide skip the tide span it's been changed in this year because a lot of people have been finding my readings in the year of 2017 and I can remember I have decided to change location um, from 2005 so in 2017 I know because I had already planned to change my location from 2012 from the shift happened I was in that location and um, when the shift happened I remember on the 21st of December I got a download and I oh okay so I started preparing so I have been preparing for location shift so in 2012 location shifts were being added to people people were realizing that they needed to choose to change their location because they have done certain work at some location and it's now elevating to a higher energy vibration and a better location which they could send out the information that needs to go out so 
you know, the, this affecting me act, actually have me connecting with the scar, the, the Sagittarians. And now I'm realizing, and, and, and then I realized that I, I, I was a cap. So it wasn't so hard for myself because I was a caps between the Sagittarians and the Capricorn. So I could deal with it because the shift wasn't that, um, drastic for me I wasn't changing anything because I was always a caps so this is the next the next um, um, thing I want to do with you people this is what I want to do I want people to understand for the rest of the Capricorns that is the Capricorns who were born on January because then it would be January 20th you will now become for the Capricorn December okay um, so I am no so um, the Sagittarians are or the Capricorns and the Aquarians have become the Capricorns so the December people, the Capricorns have become the Sagittarians and the Aquarians have. So a, a hurt sign is going to become a fire sign, which is not so bad because you're a stable sign. So you're moving from one stability to another stability. But, you know, so the Capricorns are becoming um, um, the Sagittarians. Where is the Sagittarians? The Capricorns are becoming the Sagittarians. So the Capricorns are becoming the Sagittarians. So if you were a Capricorn, you're now a Sagittarian. And this affects the whole people who were born in Capricorn. You are a Sagittarians. And people who were Sagittarians have become a Capricorn. So this is strange. I'm going to leave the information below to say who you are. So the Aquarians, people who were born on January 20, it um, have become the Capricorns. So the new Capricorns or the old Aquarians people who are now taking over the energy vibration of the heart, which is so understanding. It is so understanding, people. I'm not sure if you guys are really connecting to understand what I'm saying, but for a, an Aquarian, because they're sitting, they have worked out the energy of the Aquarians in the time of the Pisces and now they're coming forth in this new era to work out the time of um, um, the Capricorn which is an earth energy element and um, this is this is really powerful and this is the change and I call this the changing of the guards it is the changing of the guards people because this shift is making a lot of people go cuckoo and now we're understanding why are so many people releasing and being even people that was never aggressive is being so aggressive now so you know I'm going to look deeper in this situation that is happening understanding what is um that <laughs> i've already looked deeper in it so um this is a good way because you know we have not been honest to people and um i um think that now you have to this is a game change that everybody has to really really focus on and understand what is going on especially for you at this time because there is a lot of shifting there is there is a lot of shifting because you're going to find out that people who were vibrating at another energy vibration is now taking on and on another energy vibration so um, people are some people are dealing with it some people are not dealing with it and this is what we have to find out how are we how is it that we are going to find the right balance to connect with these people so you know by doing this you can always contact me and um, um, you know because actually your birth chart what you have your birth chart will actually change so I want to say thank you